cyclone dana and its aftermath well both kolkata as well as bhubaneswar are on high alert including of course several other parts of both the states remember as far as the flight operations are concerned uh, they've resumed in both the important airports but remember uh, tragic news coming in from west bengal in fact one person has died in a shelter home in kolkata that's what chief minister mamta banerji has said so pretty uh, tragic there but the actual damage that the cyclone may have caused to both the states could be assessed perhaps only a few days later given the fact that right now the focus is on battling the cyclone remember the cyclone made landfall um, yesterday uh, and it, the landfall has now been completed in fact kolkata has been brought to a halt is what uh, reports seem to suggest though of course flight operations have no longer been hit uh, but uh, uh, crowd you know but of course both uh, as far as kolkata and uh, bhubaneswar are concerned uh, the situation is not as bad given the fact that um, both uh, in in both the key airports flight operations have resumed uh, let me go across to my colleague uh, saurabh gupta saurabh what's the situation as far as kolkata is concerned uh, till this morning the situation seemed pretty normal though i can see it's still raining there but one person has died that's pretty tragic there Oh, well, let me just uh, correct you. I mean, Kolkata is normal. Of course, there's less traffic on the roads because people haven't stepped out. But it's uh, definitely uh, not come to a halt. It's, of course, normal situation. Uh, given the fact that there's a lot of heavy rain, people have not stepped out. And so uh, the traffic is moving, as you can see, uh, even behind me. There are pockets of waterlogging. But that happens when there's heavy showers. Usually what happens is the water collects in a low-lying area and then it's uh, uh, pumped out. So that's what's happening in uh, some little pockets where there are little where there's a little bit of water logging now one person has died uh, the chief minister of course addressed that issue in that press conference this afternoon and said that this person was apparently repairing a cable in his own house and uh, and died during uh, carrying out those repairs and she also said that the state government will of course provide all necessary help uh, but this is of course uh, the only case that's come to light largely if you look at it this is a very very successful uh, management of the impact of a cyclone for both states odisha and west bengal odisha evac uh, evacuated nearly 10 lakh people west bengal evacuated around 3 lakh people and that's uh, that's why they've been able to minimize uh, uh, casualties and limit it to just one that that too uh, because somebody was repairing a cable not really uh, you know uh, uh, because of the cyclone uh, 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 so to speak so that's of course what the situation is and this shows how states like odisha and west bengal have devised mechanisms to deal with cyclones the cyclone made landfall with speeds touching 110 kilometers per hour gusting up to 120 kilometers per hour and that's also uh, an indicator of why uh, so many trees were uprooted in dhamra in fact the dhamra sp uh, from the morning has been out and he, of course, said that the priority was removing, clear, uh, you know, uh, blockages on roads. And that's something that the NDRF has also done. Uh, the cyclone landfall process has been completed. It is still raining. And that's a result, again, of the weather system that persists in the, uh, you know, in eastern India. Uh, but obviously, major, major uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, success for both the state governments of Odisha and West Bengal. Uh, you know, managing uh, the impact of the cyclone and a special uh, sort of, I think, uh, mention for Risha for the uh, zero casualty target that has been met uh, by the government uh, there and also West Bengal uh, limiting sure. uh, that, uh, you know, the cyclone casualties to just one and that too, uh, really in a silly accident. Sir, so, thanks very much for joining us uh, with that important clarification situation in Kolkata. Pretty much normal and as you said, both states have been able to evolve robust mechanisms to perhaps deal with uh, cyclones of this nature. Thanks very much for joining us with that.